Hello guys, Messenger of Death here, and you know what we do. There is, uh, the update patch notes are finally out, so I'm going to go over them here. Hello, access to the digital world, this is Digimon Super Rumble. On December 22nd, Thursday, Digimon Super Rumble 2.02 .02 update will be in progress. Tamer, please check the update information below and refer to it, uh, refer to it for use. Work date, December 22nd, 2022. Work time, 10am to, um... 4 p.m. Work content 2.02 .02 update. Update content. So bear in mind this is Korean time. Find out what time that is for you. Because it may be different for them. And this is an hour time. This is in Korean time. So. Give me a moment. Uh, 6.54 a.m. will be the time that it is right now. So in roughly around three hours they'll be doing the update. One, Digimon, add new, Shakomon. It can be evolved from Pullmon, Dunksilmon, and Wanamon with a certain probability. Yonchaomon. Yonchamon. Description, it can evolve from Shakomon. It's a certain probability. As a evolution Shakomon appeared, Shakomon was added. I don't know what these Digimon are, off the top of my head. Wargreymon, Terray, projectile correction, Holydramon, size correction, Holydramon, movement went... More natural when moving. Fix some sound output errors among Metal Guru on skills. Content new. Digipass season 12. After maintenance on Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. Before f maintenance on Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Digipulse Digipass season 11 ends and season 12 begins. So you'll have to look this up in game when it goes live. Because this doesn't translate for me automatically on the Google Translate. Adding new achievements, Dragon Eye Lake to Desert Zone. When moving through NPC Whalemon, add direction. Okay. Free one, add new. Emotion expression system. Contents. Emotion expression function that can execute special actions and emoticons is added. Details. Added the emotional expression button at the bottom right of the chatting window. When the emotional expression button is clicked, the emotional expression function can be executed in the displayed UI. It can be executed through commands. Each emotion expression command can be checked in the UI. 10 types of emoticons. So we now apparently have like an emotion expression system. We can put emoticons in the uh, chat now. And I guess there'll be like a face that appears above your head potentially. Details of the queue system. So if you're trying to connect us, reach the maximum number of connections. The function will be added to allow you to wait until the connection is possible before entering. If queued, the queue window will pop up and show the current number of people in the queue. Service can be accessed sequentially according to the standby order. After the connection is closed, if you connect within 5 minutes, you can enter regardless of the queue. While waiting to connect, if you try to connect to another server or close the queue window, check one more time and cancel the waiting for connection. With regular maintenance on December 22nd, 22. If there is no tamer on the Chromal server, the creation of new tamers will be restricted. Okay, I get it. So... They're not preventing you from signing up on the Coromon server. They're keeping that around that you can still do that. It's just if the server's full, you can't create a new character and log into your character, essentially. Because that's adding a team to the world when the world's already full. You have to wait for somebody to go offline, I guess. Three, two, fixes, preferences, graphics, frame limit, and background on off function added. All channel chat functions input waiting added five seconds. Trading channel... Continuous input waiting time added 30 seconds. So I'm guessing you can't just keep spamming in the chat like lines of text I guess. Attendance event again between the two weeks update log in every single day get an item and this is the same thing but uh, time based on each day and what items you get you'll find that in game. When solstice event event period after regular inspection on Thursday December 22nd before regular inspection on Thursday January 5th 2023 the winter solstice event will be held. Let's end the year happy by making and eating red bean porridge in celebration of Witness Solstice and DSR. Through combination, you can make re red bean porridge and red bean porridge with bird eggs. Red bean porridge, red bean, one wire to file, one red bean. Porridge with bird egg, red bean porridge, one bird egg. Okay. Let's obtain red beans can purchase from an NPC Swanmon in the starting town. Red Slayer could be obtained as an attendance reward. And bird egg can be obtained from all cracks. So rifts in the digital world. Red bean porridge... EVP recovery 10%. Nice. Red bean porridge with new eggs. EVP recovery 25%. Okay. 
So you'll want a fresh egg, basically, to get the best recovery. So what you'll want to do is make sure you have enough red bean and rice flour first. Then farm the bird egg and make an item immediately and just keep doing that so you've basically used them all up. All event-related items will be collected at the end of the event. Event-related combination formulas will be deactivated at the end of the event. Except for bird eggs, all event items cannot be traded. Okay. Eventually, the Digital World Quest event. Remove related quests and NPC Agamon in the town of beginning. So if you don't finish the next section of story content when Agamon is removed, you basically can't get those three boxes that gave us a lot of great goodies. So make sure you clear the, the area you're in. Try and get as far as you can. Just finish it if you've closed. There's only like three hours, so you gotta, you got to really move. Other fits is Raid, Raremon, find some among the dialogues in the quest. Or Dibra Entrance fits from where you could move outside the map at some locations. If it's an issue where the location of the toggle is not clear, and real copy world achievement. Response done by UI modification. Cash shop edition and modification of withdraw subscription button function in the subscription withdrawal guide text. Fix the phenomenon that the game cannot be run if the account ID is set to a certain number of characters. Light of Light, Hill, fix some unnatural names of NPCs, fix some Digimon encyclopedia descriptions, fix the location of Tumon in front of Gear Savannah and the broken ship, up from the original location. During the description of entry items in the Overflow Dungeon, I did entry days. Sun UI is open, close, sun is not open. When entering a battle, when a monster in advance. When trying to enter the G Island, fix an inaudible occurrence. During Gear Savannah Quest, cutting and retrieving, fix wo Womamon movement speed. Fix some event buff icons and descriptions. Fix the phenomenon that some users were using when using more than three basic cradles in Digi Island. I can't put down three basic cradles. What do you mean? Fix about all freeze that occurred intermittently until certain conditions. Glad to thank Tammy to love Digimon Super Rumble. We tried to provide a better service. So we're not getting the next section of story content. Surprisingly. Still. Are we just... Is this all we're getting? Like, we've had this and that's it. we got to wait, like, six months to get something new. It's a bit ridiculous. Like, what's the point in going to the email world? We didn't even take on my Otis Man again. We got Megas, yeah, but... Is that it, really? We're done? I'm quite disappointed. With that, that's the patch notes covered. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I do this for every patch that comes out. I'm going to be doing a video on it and covering the patch notes. So make sure you don't miss out. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.